Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to talk about these Garden Jewels Gerber Daisies from the Southern Living Plant Collection. Uh, this one is Garden Jewels Orange, uh, specifically right here. There's actually five of these. And Gerber Daisies tend to come in five different colors, like yellow, white, uh, pink, orange, and red. And this series, this Garden Jewel series, actually has all five colors. These are just tough as nails. Uh, Plantsbymail.com sent me these earlier in the season. You may have seen that video. I planted these three on this corner. There's a slight slope here, which is, I think, perfect for Gerber daisies in the southeast because uh, they don't particularly like wet feet. But if you give them just a little bit of drainage, a little spot with a little slope, and man, these have been amazing. I've done nothing, absolutely nothing to these. I used a slow-release fertilizer on them when I planted them. Uh, you could use... Uh, a shorter release fertilizer and do it more often, but really just once in the uh, in the early spring, early to mid spring, that was it. And I've watered them a few times. It got really, really dry right after I planted them, so I did have to give them a little bit of attention for a little while. Once they anchored themselves in here, I haven't had to do anything to them. Uh, you can deadhead uh, Gerber daisies. I've got some pruners here. You know, when the flowers fade, you can go down in here and uh, clean these out. But I have found that these are almost self-cleaning. They kind of absorb the flower heads very, very quickly back down into the plant. And I just, uh, it hasn't been unattractive at all, so I just haven't worried about it. But they have bloomed con con constantly, uh, especially this one, you know, these two right here, this one may have not have anchored itself quite as well yet, but I've gotten eight, probably eight to 10 flowers on this plant uh, every single time I've looked at it all season long. And it's just absorbing them and bringing up new ones constantly. These are, these are hardy in zone seven to 10 and really just kind of a super easy addition to the garden uh, to, uh, to add some color throughout the season. Uh, the pollinators absolutely love these as well. I'm probably interrupting their time over here on them. So as I said, this series of Gerber daisies is hardy in uh, zone seven to 10. They're gonna be about 12 to 14 inches by 12 to 14 inches each year, something like that. These are definitely sun loving uh, perennials, uh, definitely more than six hours of direct sun and full sun will be absolutely fine. Uh, look at these little individual florets, just how bright they are around uh, that capitulum in the middle. It's just full of little individual flowers. This is pretty typical of anything in the uh, daisy family. Uh, this, this one right here, one of the other reasons it impresses me is it, cause it holds the flowers up big and tall. And so when you're standing up, you're looking right down into them uh, with a little bit of angle to the side. And uh, they're just like saying, look at me. You don't have to bend over and, and and bend them up or manipulate them to really enjoy them. So I, I do like that about these. Uh, but anyway, uh, take a look at the uh, plantsbymail.com website uh, if you get a chance and uh, see if these are available at the time you're watching this uh, video because these are really, really striking additions to the garden. Mm -hmm. 